Hello and welcome to Track My Files online training segments. This session is designed for our end users. This is a high level overview of what you'll do once you register for your free account on our system. By now you should have received an email notification from notifications at Track My File letting you know that someone has invited you to participate in an online adventure and this is how you're going to register. Be sure you open up the email and look for the registration code. The registration code is your key to logging on successfully. Go ahead and locate your registration code in your email, right click it, copy it, and then simply click on the hyperlink embedded in the email. You'll be directed to the next screen which is your en to enter your registration code. Right click again and paste. Submit. This is where you're going to create your new free account you're going to enter your own username, your own personal password. And remember, your password must be a minimum of eight characters in length, and one of those characters must at least be a number. Go ahead and verify that your mailing address is correct, that your telephone numbers are correct, and then once you've done that, go ahead and submit. Now you get to use your username that you just created and the password that you just created, and sign in. You can keep the existing password that you created if you'd like, if it meets our minimum system requirements, or you may go ahead and create a new password. Be sure that you select a secret question and your secret answer. Submit. The very next step is your account wizard. You must go through this three-step process in order to log on to your transactions that you've been invited into. So here we go. First of all, accept the terms and conditions. Second of all, set up your security verification and answer, which you've already done. Go ahead and submit that. And next, what you're going to do is re review your email notification settings. In Track My File, there are five areas of automatic emails that are generated once something is done in a transaction. When notes are posted to the communication log for you to review, you'll get an automatic email. When a time-sensitive task and event list item is completed, you'll be notified via email. When a checklist item, which is a document tracking item, has been completed, you'll get an email. If a document has been uploaded for you to review, you will also receive an email. And if a file is opened, closed, or canceled, you will receive an email. Our default is set to the digest mode, which means that you will receive one email per topic per day if any activities transpire on your transaction. If you wish to receive real-time updates, please deselect this option and update your preferences. That means that when work is done on your files, you'll get real-time emails and be notified instantly. Let's go to the next step. Click here to start using Track My File. What you're looking at is your home page. And we're logged on as James Brown today. He's our real estate agent. We'll notice that the upper portion of our screen is our welcome information. We have no alerts due today. And we are personally not tracking any event items or calendar items, so we don't have anything to accomplish in this real estate transaction. We can notice, too, that new files, since the last time we've logged on, someone opened a new transaction for us, so we're going to go ahead and click on that property address to open that electronic file. Once we've clicked on that transaction, we are now in our open file, and next we're going to travel around in the transaction. We may view a file summary sheet. In our file summary sheet, it's just some information about our transaction and who are the existing parties. We also can review the file calendar. Remember, in this transaction, we are personally not tracking. The next thing we can do is we can review who is doing what in our file. There's obviously a transaction coordinator managing this file on James's behalf. So let's go ahead and look at her checklist and see what's going on. We can clearly see that the transaction coordinator has uploaded already two documents into our transaction. We know that they're done and that they've been uploaded. We can see that we have several documents to be uploaded. We can see that there are several documents that are still required for this transaction and they will be added as we progress. Let's go ahead and have a look at the transaction coordinator's timeline, her event list. 
we can see that she has shared three of the active calendar items, action items, event list items with us. And we can see what dates those were completed on. Let's see if we have any documents available. All we have to do is click on the file documents and view. If we've been included to review any documents online, they will be published in the file documents repository. We can clearly see the document, the date and time it was uploaded, and who was giving viewing privileges for those documents. We also may send an email of that via PDF to another party within our transaction. To review that document, all we have to do is click on it and open up that PDF file. And there's our document. We might want to review the communication history for this deal as well, or send an email to someone in this file. If any messages have been posted by a real estate professional in the communication center you and you have been given viewing privileges to that, you will see them displayed here. You have the option to post information as well. That might be posting a note, pasting a response email, or if you like, you may send an outbound email to the various parties within your transaction. Sending an email is very easy. Simply click on the parties that you want to communicate with and type in your message. Go ahead and send that email and that becomes a permanent part of your record. You might be looking at some other areas on the screen and, and wondering why we haven't covered those yet. So let's talk about the quick links box. You can quickly send an email, check your documents, upload documents, or view the communication history. If you'd like to upload documents, let's talk about that really quickly. You're going to be asked to do a couple of things when uploading a document. You're going to be asked to select parties within the transaction that you'd like to share this document online with. You'll notice that Carrie Coordinator is the transaction coordinator for this deal. She was the original file opener and your names are already selected. So please feel free to select another party or two or three. Enter in the document name and either upload that electronically or request a fax cover sheet. If you're going to request a fax cover sheet you need to select that option. Submit Wait for the system to generate that fax cover sheet for you, open it, and print it. If you wish to upload an electronic document, it's the same principle. Select the parties you'd like to communicate with, choose to upload that, give the document a name, and browse for that document on your system. Once you locate your document, go ahead and submit that. All the while, these parties that were selected will get an automatic email letting them know that a document has been uploaded for them to review online. So here you have a couple of different options. What do you need to do? Do you want to return to the main file view? Let's go ahead and do that. Great. So here we are. If we scroll down to the page a little bit, we see the file participants list. We see all the parties within the transaction we see their contact information and we may directly email them from here or simply review their information. Let's go back to the main file view. A couple of other things we're going to talk about on this page and then we're all done. We have some personal reports that we may run. This is where we'll find our open, open properties list, closed files list, canceled files list, overdue files list, if we are tracking event list items, we can see what's overdue. And if we are tracking documents, we can see what's still needed in our files. Any one of these reports, you may go ahead and open up and export that into a common format, maybe like Excel or PDF, and exit. If you are not personally tracking any event lists, don't worry about that. That simply means that your Track My File host is right on the ball and they're the ones managing the transaction details for you and keeping you abreast of what needs to be done. If you have an issue or you need some support in our system, please feel free to use the support option and send us a message. We also have the Training Center, center button, which is where you are right now. That will give you a more in-depth training on our system and how to actually use it if you are managing transactions. We look forward to seeing you online real soon and thanks for joining our online training segment.